What's up YouTube, Jay Travelin here. Today I just wanted to give a quick update video on my 5600 XT rig uh, and its current profitability. It's still mining Ethereum uh, and as we can see, I haven't done an update video since you know everything went up in price. Uh, but you can see ETH trading for 1564 right now per coin. So we'll look at what the rig is doing. I'll, I'll give you an update on it. Then we'll go to what the mine will calculate what's uh, currently, you know, generating as far as revenue and profit. So here's my 5600 XT rig. As you see, I'm getting 41.7 mega hash pretty much across the board at roughly 90 watts. Uh, some are a little bit lower, so like 89, 90 watts. So totaling 250.3 mega hash a second. I mean, it's, it's pretty much like stable right at. 250 mega hash a second uh, the power consumption according to software is 530 so it's pulling roughly about uh, 620 watts at the wall after all the risers and everything in the idling so 620 watts uh, it's been pretty stable every once in a while I'll have it's on a uh, team red miner i'll have the miner with the uh, reboot for some reason, I think GP1 sometimes has a driver issue and crashes. I'm not really sure, but for the most part, it just re the miner will just reboot and it'll keep going. As you can see, it rebooted itself probably five hours ago. Uh, yeah, miner uptime five hours, 24 minutes, but not nearly as much work as it used to. It used to be, I used to have to do manual reboots and everything on it all the time until I got these settings dialed in. But now it seems pretty solid. So 250 mega hash. So we're getting a 250 mega hash at 620 watts. So I mean, that's just 15 kill, 15 cents per kilowatt hour. That's a little high for pretty much, I don't pay that pretty much. Uh, residential electric. In the Philadelphia, greater Philadelphia area, usually range between 12 to 13 cents per kilowatt hour is what you can get, um, and that's with changing electrical providers constantly just to keep the lowest price possible. Uh, I may in the future, since I'm starting to build the farm up and use more electricity, try and contact some providers to see if I can get a better rate because I'm using so much consistently, but. Uh, that's a little further down the line. I want to get one or two more rigs built before I do that. So let's calculate this. So right now, this current rig's making, according to what to mine, 0.0121 ETH a day. Uh, anywhere between 0.0121 to 0.0145. And it's estimated to earn $22.71. Uh, it looks like it's going to cost me just under two dollars or just over two dollars to run this rig per day uh so it's still profiting twenty dollars and 48 cents per day and that's if i were to actually go and sell the coins for days i earn them um, and it's also at the time of making this video where according to what the mine eats trading for 1562 uh per coin so i mean it's a it's a pretty big profit a lot more profitable than when I first built this rig uh, but that just shows you how profitable ETH is right now uh, and how much more profitable it is I know this was up near almost 2000 at one point which would have made this rig even more profitable but right now I'd plan on holding all my ETH and I may even stake it eventually down the line when uh when I have enough to I think you need six ETH to stake but, you know, that's just a quick update. I wanted to show you guys the profitability on this rig with the current market and uh, how profitable it can be for anyone that's mining ETH. Uh, hopefully you guys are really profitable also. Uh, three of my fours that you can see if we go into my farm here, uh, three of my four rigs are mining ETH. So you can see my 5600 XT, my P104100 rig, and my... Uh, Tony Tough Nuts is my third 30 series cards, all mining East. Uh, and then we have the P1690 rig that's mining 
Raven coin. That's only because it's a three gigabyte card rig, so I can't actually mine ETH with it. If I could mine ETH with it, I would because it would be more profitable. Um, but Raven coin on that rig still pretty profitable. If you guys watched the update videos on that. Uh, but you know, thanks for checking this video out. Uh, let me know what cards you guys are using. Uh, what if you're mining ETH or what you're mining? If you have a uh, four gigabyte cards or less, what coins you're mining? What coins I can look at as far as with my P10690 rig? Uh, if you guys plan on coming off of ETH and mining something else, and I like to know what you guys are planning on mining in the near future. But thanks for checking this video out. Make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more.